Last week on Future Focus, we talked about building review sets from field mode to save time later for your reviewers. This week, we're gonna continue on with that theme, adding a little bit to it and showing how you can make review even easier for those end users. Welcome to Future Focus. Welcome to Future Focus. I'm Justin Tolman. I'm the Director of Training for North America at Access Data and Xtero Company. And in this episode, we're going to add on to the last one, talking about field mode, creating review images, and then reviewing those. So this week, we're going to talk a little bit about the known file filter. If you use the known file filter, it can be great for locating files quickly and easily in a hands-off approach, especially if you're like a member of an ICAC task force or something equivalent, depending on where you are. Uh, this can really help you out in building review sets if you're separating your heavy forensics from reviewers. So again, we've loaded up a case in field mode. This is the same case from last week. It took about six minutes or so to load in 1.3, 1.4 million files into our case, so not too long. And then what we're going to do is run our known file filter against it, which I've already done. You can see a couple files here listed, about 14 hits, couple duplicates. Now, I did do some testing where this is a small known file filter, actually the one you use in the ACE. So if you are planning on taking the ACE exam, here's some of the files that you should get back. So it's not a large KFF, but it took about 35 minutes to scan 1.4 million items, hashing them in MD5 and SHA-1. The additional comparison with the known file filter doesn't really add any time. But just as a test to see if the size of the KFF mattered, I created another known file filter with about 7,000 hashes that we were gonna compare and it added no time. You can see the comparison on the screen between the two, uh, it literally added no time. The only processing you're going to add is the necessary processing time to calculate the hashes. It did take about 35 minutes to run the known file filter. You're just prepping it for your reviewers. So all in all, you're looking at about 40 minutes of prep time to get an image, ship it out. You can also layer your filters, of course, on the known file filter, so you actually have both, um, and you can tailor these images really quickly and really easily and set it up for a reviewer. So what we'll do with these few little KFF hits is the same thing we did last time. We'll right click on it and we're going to export to image, all listed items to get our known file filter hits. And we'll just move through adding the destination and create the image. Now that the image is created, we'll go through off camera, load it into our basic file types case that we built last time. And then we'll take a look at review. In FTK, you can create multiple users and assign those users to the specific case that you want them to work. We do this from the database management windows. We go up to the database menu as an application administrator, and we go to administer users, and you can create your new users here and assign them the roles, et cetera, that you wanna do. Cool, we've created a review one. You select your case, and you go up to case and assign users or groups, and then you can select the user that you want to assign to this case the case. So when that user comes in and logs in and sign in review one, password one, two, three, they only see the case that's assigned to them. Easy, basic stuff. Now we're actually not going to use FTK to review this. What? Each license of FTK comes with a license of QView and QView is a software package that can be used to review your files in a forensic way. There is this button that allows you to launch QView from within the interface. But again, we're gonna look at this from the perspective of the reviewer, that you've created this image using FTK and you're delivering that to someone, even if it's on the same box, you've prepared that image and they're gonna come back and take a look at it. The cool thing about QView as well is that it ties to the same database that FTK is running on. It's all integrated. So we're gonna minimize FTK and we'll come out here and we'll see this QView shortcut on our desktop. That'll be dropped there by default during the install. If not, you could always navigate out manually to find it. It's in the access data install directory. And we're gonna go ahead and open this up by double clicking. That's how shortcuts work. This will open up QView. 
you need to log in. In this case, we're gonna log in as our review account. We've assigned it to that person, so we're gonna log in as them. Review one, password super secure one, two, three, and we're gonna go ahead and log in. We're logged in to QView. We'll go ahead and maximize that just uh, because we can. Really basic interface. Now the first thing we need to do, we need to select the case we're going to work. A user can be assigned multiple cases and QView is tapped into that same database. So QView's gotta, you gotta tell QView what to uh, load. So we're gonna select basic file types here and, and click the check mark, which is gonna load our case up into the interface. So it's gonna display the files in our case. Now this is the same case we created in the last video to show our basic file types, but we've also added the second image item to it that contains our KFF hits just because we can. And just to show you can have multiple evidence items within one. So the first thing you may wanna do is use some filters to look at specific file types first. And we have these quick filters here up the top. So if I wanna view documents, say Word documents specifically, I can select the Word filter and it's only gonna display Word and I can select fires in California and I can read that and do what I want. If I need to review all the documents in the case, like I need to review or read through all these, I can just click next and I can read through that and then click next and read through and it's a lot of duplicates of that one file. For fires in California, if we want to bookmark this file, we can do so. We can right click, do bookmark assignment and we have some pre-created bookmarks that the admin could have created for us that we could have created prior to. Either way, if you're the admin, you can set up all the bookmarks and everything for them. So they don't even have to know how to do that. They just have to know how to right click and assign it. So we're gonna say that this is evidence and we'll add it to that and we'll save our bookmark assignment. And we can close and we could say, okay, we're done looking at Word. We wanna look at say graphic files and we can look at graphics. We can toggle between file list and thumbnails if you wanted to look at that. And so we could jump back into our item list and you have all your stuff here. Now, if the reviewer notices something and they wanna create a new bookmark or you as the admin didn't create them any, they're expected to create their own, that's fine. They can come in, select whatever image, they can right click on it, do bookmark assignment, select their username and right click on that and say new bookmark. From here, they can say uh, ammunition, I guess. Ammunition, spell it right. And we can save that in there and we'll select ammunition and then save bookmark assignment. And we rinse and repeat. When they're done, they just come up here and close QView. So they notify you, the admin, that they're done. You come back, you open the case and navigate to the bookmarks and you can see the files that they have bookmarked. You can also see that the bookmark category that they added. Remember, unified database, the information syncs back. So you can come in and view the file that they bookmarked. We will change the size here, best fit. And you can do whatever it is you need to do. So use the admin can now generate a report if necessary. You can come in and do more forensics on it if they need more information parsed out of it or they need the connective tissues such as event logs, system summary, mounting devices, all that stuff to kind of build the story around that file. You can do it. They found the stuff. Now you can go do forensics around the stuff that they found because it's the unified database their work syncs back to the case. You can see each other's stuff. Sometime in the future, we'll do a, another video on QView, or you can take our training. We cover it in FTK 201, but it can be really useful for this type of review application. So utilize field mode, filters, known file filter with QView. You get yourself a really good review workflow. Okay, that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Just as a reminder, we will be at Techno again, so come check us out. And then also on May 26th, I'm gonna be doing a webinar presentation chat session over on CyberHub with Kevin DeLong. We'll be using SQLite queries to build a story and to show patterns and analyze user behavior just by using SQLite queries and a little bit of Excel to show some cool visualizations. So come check it out. The link will be down below in the description. Hope to see you there. And again, thanks for watching.